we've made a lot of progress in um, recurrent um, and advanced endometrial cancer. Um, we now have targeted therapies available. We have been able to move um, immunotherapy into the front line with chemotherapy. Um, it is FDA, Dostarlamab is now FDA approved with chemotherapy. Um, and I think um, in the DMMR subset, and soon we will um, see approvals um, with pembrolizumab and um, immunotherapy based on the GYO18 data. So I think, um, you know, these are great advances, um, but I think especially in the mismatch repair proficient subset of patients, um, I think we still have more room to go in the front line. And I think that's where our HER2 ADCs um, may be valuable. In addition, we have um, newer therapies such as um, Selinexor, um, which works on the nuclear transport of um, P53 um, and um, um, other tumor suppressor genes. And um, this has been shown um, in the Ciendo study to be um, very effective. Um, in the maintenance setting after chemotherapy. Um, the long-term results of these data were actually just presented at um, ASCO, and um, the median progression-free survival in patients who were mismatch repair proficient and P53 wild type um, was nearing 40 months. So um, we haven't seen results like this in the mismatch repair proficient um, subgroup. So it's really important that um, we get that trial finished um, so we can have access to another therapy um, to help our patients um, in the frontline in the maintenance setting. 